All right, let's go to video number three. Um, okay, um, if you've been watching the videos from video number one to video number two, you know that uh, we're working with a ball class uh, that we use to create instances of different balls that we're creating um, for our program. Um, and uh, we have two instances of the ball. We have a tennis ball and a soccer ball. And we create the tennis ball as a four inch in diameter ball. The color is lime. And we have a soccer ball that's 10 inch in diameter and it's a white ball. And uh, so far, this class here that we have um, sets a few uh, properties. And um, it has one operation to bounce the ball. And uh, when he, the ball bounces, the output it says that the, you know, whatever color ball is bouncing. Um, so um, here in our program we came here, we created the, the instances of a ball, one called a tennis ball, the other one called a soccer ball, and we are uh, bouncing the tennis ball and we're bouncing the soccer ball. So the output um, obviously is the lime ball is bouncing because we're bouncing the tennis ball first and the white ball is bouncing because we're bouncing the soccer ball next, right? Okay, so now let's uh, do more things. Let's create more uh, functionality for our ball. Like right now, you know, it's boring just to bounce the ball. We need to do more things with this ball, okay? Um, so uh, let's uh, go here in our class, in our ball class, uh, to add more th more things to, to the ball so we can do more things. Okay, so we bounce the ball. Now, what can we do? We have properties like the size of the ball, the color of the ball. Uh, we have the air pressure and it is flat and these are related uh, properties because if the air pressure is zero then the is flat should be true because the ball is flat. If the air pressure is 20 then it should be false because the ball is not flat. So let you know before we could you know mess with these two properties here um, we need to create a new operation uh, to inflate and de deflate the ball so we could mess with this ball here uh, so we have let's create a another um, operation here one is to deflate the ball right so in the deflate all, what are we doing to the ball when we deflate the ball we're changing these two properties here we say the air pressure um, the air pressure is zero you know we're deflating the ball totally and uh, the is flat now is true because now we have no pressure in the ball so it's true the ball is flat okay so we could deflate the ball now um, and we could let's now that we're deflating the ball let's um, inflate the ball right and um, we just say air pressure is 20 and is flat because of that becomes false okay because the ball is not flat anymore okay uh, and let's add um, actually let's add now that we have these let's add some functionality to the bounce now we want to bounce the ball, but you know what happens if you try to bounce a flat ball? It's not going to bounce, right? So let's fix that. Uh, so let's say if um, if um, uh, let's say if is flat. Oops. If is flat is true, we'll keep it this way. Then. If flat, if flat is full, then we just want to say, oops, sorry about my typing. <laughs> uh, print line, we want to make a message, you know, add a message here saying, you know, since it's flat, sorry, the ball is flat, so it, we'll continue the next line, cannot bounce. Let's put a space here. So, so it's going to say, sorry, the ball's flat, 
so it cannot bounce. Uh, else, we'll say this here that we said before. We'll bounce the ball. If the if it's false, if the the ball is not flat, then okay, let's let it bounce. So let's see how this works here. And I'm sorry if I'm all over the place here with this tutorial. I don't have a script. I'm just doing things as I go right now. So I'm sorry if it's uh, you know if it's getting boring because of that, or if you're getting lost or whatever. Um, okay. So in our previous video, we created the, the two instances, and we let it bounce. So now let's try to bounce this ball, these balls. And well, if we try to bounce the balls, they're both inflated. They're both not flat, so they're both going to return these two lines here the same way we did before. But now what we could say is we could go to the soccer ball and oop, soccer ball and deflate this ball. Okay, so let's deflate the soccer ball and see what happens if I go here and say and repeat the rolling okay I'll repeat the rolling of the ball I'm gonna roll the tennis ball again and the soccer ball again so originally I run the I rolled I bounce not roll I'm sorry I bounce the the tennis ball and the soccer ball and then I deflate the soccer ball and then I try to bounce both of them again and let's see if that changes something it changes our output so here it is we run okay um, we 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 did the tennis ball first. The line ball is bouncing, and the white ball is bouncing. Makes sense. Uh, then we deflate the balls, right? And we try to bounce the line ball, and it's bouncing. And finally, it tries to bounce the soccer ball. Uh, the ball is flat, so it cannot bounce. Um, would I don't say what ball it is here. Uh, I missed that, so. Let's differentiate that here. Sorry, the so we could tell whether it's the line ball or the white ball, right? That that's not bouncing. Forgot the detail. So the color. So it will, it will read. Sorry, the the whatever color ball is flat, so it cannot bounce. So let's run this program again and see how it runs. Okay, so we we'll see here that the, the two bounces work at first, and then we deflate. Only the, mo the the line ball is bouncing, and it says, "Sorry, the white ball is flat, so it cannot bounce." And there's no space here. I have to fix this in my bounce operation here to fit. Sorry, the color space ball is not bouncing. And uh, run it again, and yep, we fix our line. Now there's a space here. So uh, I hope I'm making sense. I'm gonna stop here because we're not running out of time. Uh, I'm gonna continue add more things to to our program just to see what we could do next. Okay, so if you're interested, stick around um, for video number four. Take care.